guidelines for equipment placement, alignment, and parallel operation, X431 ADAS Mobile. X431 ADAS Mobile redefines ADAS calibration, which makes the calibration process more intelligent and convenient. This video introduces the operation steps of X431 ADAS Mobile in detail to ensure that the vehicle and equipment are aligned and parallel before calibration. We will use the following auxiliary tools, 5-line laser level, cross-laser level, laser reflector, auxiliary mirror, L-shape positioning bracket, plumb bob, tape and cross-positioning label. These auxiliary tools will help you quickly and accurately complete the equipment placement. Step 1 is to use the plumb bob to confirm the center position in front of the vehicle. Mark the position as point A. Place the fine line laser level. Turn on it and ensure the level of the laser level. Confirm the center position of the rear of vehicle. Mark the position as point B and place the laser reflector. Step 2 is to place the auxiliary mirror near the fine line laser level. Rotate the line adjustment knob of the fine line laser level and observe through the mirror to allow the longitudinal laser to irradiate on the central axis of the laser reflector. At this time, point A and B are connected to form the central line P. If the vehicle chassis is low, it is recommended to swap the positions of the five-line laser level and the laser reflector to ensure that the laser line can pass through the vehicle chassis and irradiate the laser reflector on the central axis. Step 3 is to confirm the distance between the X431 ADAS mobile device and the vehicle on the center line. According to different models, there will be the following three measurement situations. One, measure the distance from the front bumper to the target. Two, measure the distance from the center of front hub to the target. Three, measure the distance from the camera to the target. Case one, measure the distance from the front bumper to the target. Taking Mercedes-Benz as an example, measure the corresponding distance on the center line P according to the software pumps and mark the point as point C. Case two, measure the distance from the center of front hub to the target. Taking Audi as an example, install the cross laser level to the calibration mainframe and turn it on. Select a point on the center line P as point E and place ADAP mobile at point E. Turn the fine adjustment knob to make the longitudinal laser line of cross laser level coincide with the center line P or the center vehicle logo. Mark point A1 on the transverse laser line of the fine line laser level so that the distance from point A to point A1 is 1 meter. Mark point E1 on the transverse laser line of the cross laser level to make sure that the distance from point E to point E1 is 1 meter. Move the fine line laser level to point A1 and make sure that the laser line passes through point A and E1. At this time, Connect A1 and E1 to form a parallel line P1 of the center line P. Place L-shaped positioning bracket in the center of front hub. Measure according to the distance prompted by the software. And mark point D on P1 line to allow that the distance from the center of the front hub to point D is equal to the value prompted by the software. Move the five line laser level to point D and make sure that the laser line passes through point A1 and E1. At this time, the intersection point of two laser lines is generated on the center line P, and the point is marked as point C. Case 3. Measure the distance from the front camera to the target. Taking Toyota as an example, the operation process is the same as that in case 2 except that the L-shaped positioning bracket is placed on the vehicle side along with the front camera. Measure according to the distance prompted by the software and mark point D on P1 line to allow that the distance from the center of front camera to point D is equal to the value prompted by the software. After completing above steps and marking point C, you can determine the placement of VEDAS mobile. Step 4 is move ADAS Mobile to point C 
to make the intersection point of cross laser level coincide with point C. Observe the horizontal bubble and adjust the caster knob to ensure the level of the equipment. Lock the ADAS mobile caster. Step 5 is turn the fine adjustment knob to make the longitudinal laser line of cross laser level coincide with the center line P or the center of vehicle logo. Step 6 is to shade the lifting handle to observe whether the real-time height of the device displayed by the laser ranger is consistent with the software prompt. Step 7 is to select the corresponding target and install the target on the ADAS mobile crossbeam correctly according to the software prompt. Then, you have completed the preparation of the ADAS mobile device before calibration. Next, you can start to perform the ADAS system calibration.